Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today we will talk about one interesting AWS service that is called AWS Key Management Service, KMS, and what purpose we can use and I will give you some real life example like how we can use for EBS and if you would like to use for S3 how we can use it and if you would like to use DynamoDB or like RDS how we can use it. Okay guys. So first let me explain what is the uh, AWS key management service and what this is like a uh, like key management service in provided by AWS and it's like a, a kind of centralized key management service and it's a kind of provide different kind of features like if you want to do like symmetric way and if you want to do asymmetric way both up way it will be possible and there are like AWS managed key is there also customer managed key is there and uh, main difference is AWS man uh, like AWS managed key and customer managed key is like uh, AWS managed key key which is something like when you are creating your account that time AWS will pro, uh, provision those uh, like a key like a RDS, Lambda, Secret Manager, S3, EBS okay guys so it will be a provision and it will be rotated like uh, every three years like it will be rotated this key and one more is like a customer managed key which is like a, your own key like this key have you have your own control and you can manage and you can rotate uh, uh, manually or you can do by uh, like uh, programmatically by automation also to rotate this key okay guys so the mainly these two keys there are uh, like a customer manage key and AWS manage key so we will talk about like how we can create our customer manage key our own key and why it is like uh, talking about it's a centralized uh, uh, like a key management service why because like uh, in this account if you create your key right customer manage key right this same key you can use across all the service in this aws right and uh, in the by using console also you can able to use and if you want to use by using that uh, sdk then also you can use this key and if you would like to use by a cli then also you can use this customer manage key that's why it used to call as a centralized managed key okay guys and it is fully secure and if you want like uh, uh, like uh, a, a digitally signed right if you want let me show you that so here some of the features is there fully managed centralized key management key and encryption and all your application and then reliable also and secure okay guys and one more thing like uh, that free tires we have like uh, start with 20 free tires request per month with uh, this kind of limitation also is there in free tires and how it will work this is the architecture looks and one more thing guys if you would like to audit your key like uh, who, who is requesting and who, which app application is using right so that you can do by using that cloud trail log we have that by using that you can audit that also this cloud trail so this cloud trail how we can integrate maybe in my subsequent video i will talk about more details but today's agenda how we can use that uh, a, a key is to ebs on s3 and many more services okay guys so let's first create how we can create that key so click on customer manage key and let's click on create and I was talking about there are two options uh, is symmetric and asymmetric. Symmetric means like uh, which is like uh, something like it's a digitally signed, okay, guys. And asymmetric like a, a HMAC, like uh, that uh, access code will be generated, okay, guys. And here two key uses like one is the encrypt and decrypt, or every time you would like to generate the MAC code okay uh, like a hash based mac authentication this option also is there and if you go to the advanced then that uh, some of the uh, like uh, on more some of the important thing like uh, if you would like to manage this key by cloud hsm like hardware like hsm maybe hsm all i will talk about in my next subsequent video like hsm means like uh, here option is there right so cloud uh, cloud hsm and external key store this kind of like uh, uh, where you want to store the key right so that kind of option also is there like hardware secure module so that's the purpose of this hsm okay guys so let me show you how we can create and how we can use this key for our ec2 instance or s3 or uh, some other services okay guys so let's go next and so demo cmk something like that i am giving name if you want you can give description also okay and then tag is totally optional description also is totally option okay go to the next and here is the option like uh, we need to give the permission like who would uh, want to access this like any particular service or any particular role 
I am role you would like to give the access or any particular like uh, that uh, user which is that like cloud tech this is our user right so as a root path everything can be uh, uh, accessible okay let's give that also only and let's go to the next then define the queue users permission also here also let's select this one or if you have any other IAM role that also you can select only specific to S3 or only, only specific to EBS or only specific to then you can create such role and you can assign accordingly here okay guys so go to the next now this is the root all all access we have given is a root so it's kind of admin access so for our demo purpose and resource I make as a start so any resource can be used if you want you can give specific resource also okay so now our key is uh, enabled here so let me go to that uh, EC2 how we can use it basically EBS basically we are going to use so let me show you that so let's go to that uh, let's try to launch one EC2 instance here and we'll if you if this is already running one EC2 instance right if you see this is not a encrypted let me show you this if you go here somewhere that encryption option will be there so let's go to the volume okay not in issue 2 section guys so we can able to see this for this particular issue 2 instance if you go to the storage right so let me show you that go to the instance and this is running and let's go to the storage and this is the particular storage it is included right and if you click here then here we can see that en encryption is not encrypted right so now we are going to show you how we can encrypt that okay so let me show you that so let's go to the instance again here here one way we can do like while we are creating that EBS let me show you th this is the one and this is the one and here is the option to encrypt if you just click on here then we have to give our key name which key you want to use demo cmk then it will use here and then you can uh, create the volume and other one approach how we can use it go to the ec2 and go to the instance and launch instance here just click here and suppose let's give the demo ec2 something like that and in this like let's go to the below down and let's keep here select here cloud tech and uh, then security group select as default which you have here and here is the uh, this one and go to the advanced section uh, advance and uh, let me see just click here now if you see here right here is the encrypted option right if you just click here encrypted and then it will ask for the key which key you would like to use so suppose i want to use this one and let's this one thought put let's keep default as it is let's launch this is it instance okay guys now this uh, ebs is encrypted let me show you that so it is running let me go to here and storage let's go here If you see this volume right here encryption it's a encrypted right but if you go to other one that is not a encrypted right this is not it so like this we can like EBS or EC2 instance we can encrypt this thing okay guys and if you want to use your S3 bucket right then how we can use it let's go to the S3 bucket here let me show you that create bucket and suppose demo bucket and in this suppose choose region everything is default enable like and he, this is the encryption part here if you want like key management service and uh, like a uh, server side then if you select this one then here is the option choose from your aws key or enter the arn either you can put the arn name directly you can give or if you want to choose drop down you can choose like this also so here we have our key like demo that one so we can select that let me show you demo key kms or demo cmk you can select this one and then we can create this bucket so demo bucket is already there right get a bucket which is encrypted by AWS and how about that RDS RDS part I have already demonstrated while we are taking the snapshot right so in my previous session so I will I will give that link to this video description and I will request you guys can have look how we can use for RDS also 
so like this we can use that uh, that kms like uh, for our application and it will be like uh, fully secure and if you want to audit that then by cloud trail we can you audit this also maybe in my subsequent video i will talk about more details about the cloud trail okay guys so i hope this session will helpful to you guys about the kms and uh, how we can and if you want to delete also let me show you how we can delete kms let's go to the kms here key management service okay and this is the custom key and let me first what we can do bucket let's go to the bucket and let me delete this bucket let's keep the bucket name here and if you want to go to terminate that issue to instance also we can terminate then i will show you how we can clean up that key also okay guys so let me terminate this instance uh, this is also done source cleanup is done now let's go here and refresh so this is the demo cm right so this is already pending for this is the enable this is not enable right now what we can do let's disable this key so so disable for minimum seven days after seven days it will be delete okay guys schedule for deletion i am confirm so it will delete but what is the uh, amazon provided key right this, this you cannot delete let me show you that suppose rds you want to do there is no delete option or disable or enable option or you can even you cannot rotate also but whatever key we have our own right if you want you can rotate or you can schedule deletion cancel deletion disable add tag all these thing you can do from our own key right so this kind of uh, advantage and disadvantage is there okay guys i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable to you guys then i will request you guys please subscribe my channel to support me and motivate me and i will request you guys please share with your friend also and if you have any doubt put those question to this video comment section i will address that okay guys see you in my next video chalo bye